Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody was needing some help the other night, and I've already sent them the file. They needed like a sidewalk looking out of natural stone, and this is the picture I actually sent them, and it looks pretty cool. So to do this, I used the stained glass effect. I made a box. Do not make it bigger than you need because Corel's having to do it. I'm going to make it a light blue. And I'm going to go to effects and creative and use the stained glass, which I've used for four. And you can change, you know, the thickness of the black line. You can change the size, the intensity, but we're just going to go with that. Now to, to make it work, you've got to turn it into a bitmap, convert it to a bitmap. Doesn't matter what you do, what size, just hit okay. And then trace this bitmap. It's a good clean vector already, so it's going to trace. And then you can left click, right click. And what you have is bricks and lines. And, you know, you can make it like this by taking some out and changing some shapes. But if you just wanted a path, and you could change this a little bit in, with the envelope tool, maybe you can even do it now. And just, you know, kind of change your, you know, you could add a node and, you know, just change the, change it a little bit. Make it look like it's a, you know, a, somebody really did it good. Then let me move this out of the way. Then all you do is let's see how big this is. It's less than two inches. So let's just make it three inch nudge. And then just pick a color of whatever, you know, this evidently is a printer, somebody that's going to print, and just start filling in the different blocks because they wanted them, well, I actually think they look better without bevels. And if you get lost where you're at, you can always just, You know, I'm trying to talk and do everything. Let me just let me just finish this real quick. I had that one double. I'm going to take it away. I don't really know that it matters. Anyway, kind of looks like a path. And then what you do is you take your um, smart fill tool, set on. I'm just going to use black for instance. Fill that in with black and then move it over and you have a sidewalk. Now mine is not very crude. I like, you know, this one or that one better. That one I put too much of an outline on it. But you can do a lot with this. Um, you know, you could take away the outline and just have the, like we had before. Uh, because the blocks are individual, you could go up to effects. <clears throat> A bevel and you could bevel it now it made it darker but you could change that so it looks like it's kind of beveled um, if you want to know more on that just uh, watch one of my videos or somebody else's video on bevel you know even different shades of a, maybe the stone um, you know if you do it let's up this to like point one. see what oh well we can't use that See that, that's too much of a bevel, but uh, 0 0.02. And it just looks like a, a, the roundness of an edge of a rock. I don't know printing wise, you know, what picks it up, but you can do this. I did this and <clears throat> probably uh, uh, with the envelope tool and just took some of the rocks away. You know, you still got some of the rocks you could take away you know, to make a different shape, patio or sidewalk, you know, you wouldn't want to take away too many, but, you know, you, you could get really fun with it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.